welcome back to my channel so today i put in some mini twists i actually did majority of my hair already and i'm going to take you guys on a journey while we do this side and that's pretty much it let's get into it so i already sectioned off this hair just to make it a bit easier the front part i use a comb to part it but the back not so much i don't really care about the back part so now that i have this section put up i'm just gonna take down this so on this side i put two for that section so right there you can see one two so for this side i'm just gonna do the same thing take it down so this is on freshly washed hair have my spray bottle and so the parts don't have to be perfect I just take my finger here and go down so we have two sections there then we're gonna take this and some of our product whatever product you guys decide to use I'm using a styling cream and this one we're just gonna two strand twist it Unlike the first one, we did the braid first. This one, we don't have to do the braid because it's not that first one. So it's not necessary. And surprisingly, this time around, it didn't take as long to finish these mini twists. I would say like a total of maybe two, three hours, something like that. And then we're just going to take down our next section and do the same thing. I'm gonna check and see exactly, I think this one had three, but I'll see how much I did on this side. This side has three of them, so I'm just gonna do the same thing just to keep it even, especially because it's a middle part. If there's more on one side or whatever, you are going to realize it. As I said, I don't really use a comb to part it. So before I came out the shower, I put in a, a leave-in conditioner. You just want to make sure it's detangled before you twist it up. And as I said, these ones in the back, there's no need for a braid. So instead, just twist it up. guys seen my last video then you know that these mini twists will last me for about three to four weeks so once you reach the ends add a little bit more product and So I have done this on dry hair, but I found that that's actually more work for me. I don't know if any of you guys have found that as well, but on wet hair, this hairstyle is not only much faster to do, but I find it more manageable as well. Just want to see how much we have on this side and two three four so for this row we have four so i just want to kind of line them up a bit um, so we have this side they're roughly the same size 
dancing. And go ahead with the next section. Spray it down. And so I pretty much did this to my whole head, the exact same process. The only thing different is in the back, I am twisting towards the back. In the front, I'm twisting towards the sides just because I have a middle part. So this side I'm twisting this way and this side I'm twisting that way. This one in the front, we're going to make it a braid first. We have a braid starting there. And then we're just going to start to twist. So I haven't done my edges yet, but I'll do it after. And then I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm finished this one. And I'm back. So I just finished this side, it's not dry yet, but what I'm gonna do is put on my head tie and actually I'm gonna do my edges and then put on my head tie and then come back to you guys when this side is a bit more dry so i am officially done my entire head and i've done my edges as well it's not a hundred percent dry but it's dry for the most part i'm just gonna wear it down just like this i mean you guys can rock it up you guys want you can wear it up you can pull it back whatever and yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one